Hey guys, so the Valorant beta on console just dropped and you already know I had to hop on it. So I played so far nine or 10 hours. I know, I know, a little ridiculous, but I wanted to get some content out and I wanted to just see how the game is. And the game is so far really great, but that's that, that's for another video. Let's just talk about the sensitivity and the gaming and all the other cool stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next cut. So. You probably came here for settings and aim guides and whatever. I'm going to help you guys. I have over, I don't even know how long I have when it comes to using a controller, like over 15 years of experience on a controller. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I have a lot of fundamentals when it comes to aiming. My aim is usually good in most games that I play. So because of that, I want to explain to you what you should be doing when you're aiming in Valorant. Now, listen, do not be mad or sad that you were, you know, getting outgunned by most people in this game. Aiming in this game is rough. I've had a multiple moments where I'm shooting rainbows over my opponent its head my friends had multiple moments where we're shooting rainbow over people's heads and stuff Aiming on a controller in this game is not easy, but I can definitely talk to you guys about the fundamentals. So the first thing I wanna show you is my sensitivity. Uh, you can feel free to copy all of this if you really want to. All of this is gonna be personal preference. One thing I do say is that I do not use focus mode. I don't really like it that much, unless it's like pistol round, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't really, I just, I don't like it. I don't know how to explain it, I just don't like it. I'd rather hip fire or aim down sights for long range engagements and stuff like that. So that's just my personal preference. Moving on to the next stuff, let's talk about how to actually aim. So for those that don't know, if you hold down the trigger on most guns in this game, they are going to go crazy. The bloom, whatever, the recoil is gonna go all over the place. You need to make your first couple of bullets count. In order to do that, there's two things I'm gonna tell you. First thing is gonna be micro adjustment. So you cannot micro adjustment as easy as you think you can when I, on a joystick. Maybe some of you guys don't even think it's easy because honestly it just isn't. So the best way to micro adjust is going to be to use your left stick. Use your movement stick, okay? It's going to be really weird to get used to if you guys are not used to using your movement, uh, movement stick for like, you know, micro adjustments, but trust me, I'm gonna show you a clip. I'm gonna show you a bunch of clips on screen of me slightly moving my aim with my movement to correct my, you know, my aim because I can't correct it the way that I a mouse could if I'm using my right stick. So with that being said and get used to it, the second thing that I wanna talk about is crouching. So I've seen a lot of people so far not crouch. I know I've only played like nine or 10 hours, but nobody crouches. Please crouch, use your crouch to your advantage. A lot of people are going to not understand why crouching is so good, but since you, you know, the first couple of bullets matter the most, if you want to aim 100% accurate for the first couple of shots, not only you can stand still, but you can also crouch. Crouching is really good because after the last five shots, your gun will be, uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be more accurate than if you were standing up. So try this out and try micro adjustment with your movement and try to, you know, the other thing, I forgot it already. I just said it though. <laughs> but yeah, let's move on to the other couple of tips really quickly. So I do want to put this in the other segment of aiming with your movement. I know I talked about micro adjustment, but I also want to say that using your movement to its full potential is going to be great. You do not have to aim with your right stick all the time. You don't. You can put it you know, your crosshair on head level, and then you can move left and right to shoot. There's a lot of professional players that do this on, you know, PC Valorant. There's a lot of people that do this in general. It's just really good to just leave your crosshair where it is and use your movement to aim for you. You don't always have to move your joystick left, right, up and down all around. Now, there will be times that you do need to, but trust me, over time, you're gonna build muscle memory and you're gonna figure out when you actually need to move your joystick and when you don't. For long corridors and stuff, you don't really have to move your joystick. You can simply walk over, let the opponents miss their spray and then you shoot them right in the head it's really easy to figure out where to place your crosshairs look at pro streamers As soon as you put these fundamentals into aiming, trust me, you're gonna get way better at aiming. I'm still not the best. I know I only put in a couple hours into the game so far, but trust me, over time, if you guys get used to aiming and you guys get used to using your movement and stuff like that, you will definitely get better. Honestly, that's all the tips I have when it comes to aiming. I will say that if you like focus mode, you can use it, but honestly, I don't like it. I might mess with it in the future, but for now, that's not what I really like to do. And when it comes to aiming down sights, there really isn't much to say either. Just Try not to spray in this game. Spraying is not good. And spray transferring is extremely difficult to do on a controller. So yeah, but that's really all I wanted to say. There's really not much to talk about when it comes to aiming in this game. It's just 
trying to readjust your brain to do what you need to do in call of duty you can just run and gun in any other game you can kind of just run and gun but in a game like this you really need to you know have good crosshair placement and movement and stuff yep that's really all i wanted to say and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out